weep and the lie If my heart stops but I still feel the beat Is it possible that I won't die? Standing in the mirror just laughing at myself Acting and looking like a bunch of fucking constellations Everyone knows I can be self-critical Voice so loud I can't even hear you hating I might just jump off a roof Oh shit Two stories can't die, don't cry I just really need the pain to remember I'm alive again It's just me and myself, you know how we run Sitting in my room watching Rick and Morty reruns Don't tell the end of the movie to me It's no fun I really wish I could see a comet Just to see something larger than life Never been one to toot my own horn Cause I really think I'm larger than hype A weirdo from Memphis is the best at nothing Except being the best at being best at nothing I may just keep on forever My fucking My fucking My fucking My fucking Cause it's nothing Lost in my mind, don't know how to get back Get to the point where I might just sit back And let time fly by, who cares what we do When we'll all die anyway Badass happens, man, I might die any day Held your life flaws, I'm not in proper ordinance Lost in this world like a fresh pile of orphans Been through this all alone, so fuck are you in accordance with? They can go crazy And I like it, I feel powerful when I'm standing out So why the fuck would I fight it? I'm here to stay All right. All right. We are back on a Friday night. It's been two weeks since we talked to you last, and here we are, another episode of Goner TV. I'm joined here by Zach. How's it going, Zach? Hi, Bill. How are you, man? Zach's got information, and I don't, so we're going to talk about what Zach knows and what I don't, um, because that could fill a book. Um, uh, so, first of all, that last video we just saw, the unapologetic... Um, those guys made a big announcement this week. What was that announcement? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Gunner TV news reporter here. Uh, yeah. The Orange Mound Tower. That's right. Yeah. And that's in the paper, too. So you can read about that. Yeah. Check out Daily Memphian for a write up on that. But that's something that James Dukes, uh, I Make Mad Beats, has been working on that um, heads up unapologetic uh, collaborative and. Uh, or collective. He he's been working on that thing for a long time. It is really cool, and everything that those guys do is uh, is impressive. We got massive respect for those guys, so um, uh, it's great. And uh, love a weirdo from Memphis. One of the greatest. Uh, it's it's probably top ten, top twenty, um, Gonerfest shows. I would say that the, the uh, awesome set that they played at Murphy's a few years ago uh, was totally insane. So um, and what uh, they, sorts they of bring thing, it all the time. What sorts of things do you think they're going to do with, with the land there? I think I set up some video studios. I think they've, they've, uh, I, I think they've got a lot that, I mean, there's a bunch that's going to go back into orange mound. Uh -huh. I mean, James is from there. And so his, uh, there's his roots are deep and he wants to try and help. They, they put set scholarships up through for stuff that they do too. So he is, he's, and it's been a big deal for him to come back to Memphis and try and get back to uh, the the community. So I, I know that that's a big part of it. But you know that it's 
while it's it's been a big project in the works, I don't think they've really announced a whole lot of, of what all is going to come out of it. But there's there's certainly an arts orientation and a music kind of side of it. But there's also going to be a community and entrepreneurial kind of side to it too. So I can't wait to see what he's he's got. Yeah, that's terrific. Kind of, yeah, and there cool. is an article in the paper about it, so you can read about it. You don't have to listen to what I have to say about it. So right. I know very little. The paper would know more than I would today about this issue. How, would you agree with that? <laughs> Maybe. I guess so. And they, I, I think so. I think the paper is going to know more than no us. But I don't know. Than, yeah. I still say go to Goner TV and ask Billups. Or come into the shop and ask him. <laughs> ask me if, some questions. If about you need it, to know man. something, go to him. It's, it's safe. It's I'll, safe. Tell you what I, I'll tell you what I imagine is going to happen in the, within the wall confines of this uh, of this project. That works for me. Speaking of Goner Fest, you were watching some uh, head from Goner Fest 10. Boy, that was a great video. Wasn't I, got, it? I got all excited over that was, here. That was a very pumping up Friday night kind of thing. I, got I was I was ready to hop in the hate van and go tire shredding. Yeah, at least start drinking, which is what we were doing now. Cheers. I think that, like as that. Oh. I hope you are too. Yeah, we do. We do have uh, you know these. Uh, we got a big Goner Fest that's coming up that we made an announcement on and uh, uh, got tickets going on sale. Tickets went on sale a week ago, and we have uh, we've already flown through all of the allotted early bird special tickets they mm. they sold in like over the weekend wow and we were planning on that being uh a, an early bird special through june but we sold all of the tickets that we had allotted for it in like four days and they keep going people are going nuts for it we're very excited we're so happy that people are uh are making plans and and gonna be here and we're we're really excited about hosting an actual goner fest again in september so, and are, um, and are you going to be talking more about bands playing at Honor Fest during the show, or is it? Well, I, you, you know, know I don't know. It's yeah, it's okay. there's all these rules, you know. I mean, it's there it's is, difficult there, these days. We might not know that it, this is a lot more complicated than you'd think. It is really booking agents. Jesus, like like you're not allowed to say things that are going to happen, even if they're going to happen. And uh, you know, uh, you it's know, hard. It's, it's hard uh, living in reality. Yeah, I mean, it really is. What, what is reality? A linear time frame of things to happen. You know, uh, I don't know, but but uh, there will either. be bands. Is what we can. There are going to be. There's going to be lots more bands, and uh, there's going to be. A, a, I think. A, I think we're planning on li- announcing another eight or ten bands on on Wednesday. But I I, I can tell you that it's there's several that i am very very excited about and uh you know i don't know i something may slip out at some point as as we're going through here i but i i can't really it would it would be we'd be breaking some sort of international law by talking too much more about it but you know i don't know can i talk about a street date that is today yeah man what what do you got what do you got the Archaics, who are also, uh, what do you call it, alumni? Gonerfest alums, alums, the Archaics. Their live album comes out today. Really great stuff. Um, we don't have it here at the store yet, but... Uh, it's coming. It's coming, and you know you can check it out. Buy it from the band, too. That's always supportive. Dig records. Yeah. Um, if you are looking for something to buy from the store this week, we got the new Chubby and the Gang single. Yes. You guys, yes. You guys went real crazy for that album, so I'll be interested to see if... You guys go equally as crazy. Go crazy! Do it. Go crazy. It's worth it. Single. And just just to reiterate, we still have a few copies of the Electrify Me. They're almost gone. They're almost gone, though. This we... went fast. You know, this album doesn't get <clears throat> reissued that often. And, uh, you know, you got to get it when you can. So. Zach, Effie wants to know where the uh, dance party is. Dance party is going to happen. There'll be a dance party on Sunday night. Uh... I can't. I cannot divulge exactly where it's going to happen, but plan on being there Sunday night if you want to be around for uh, the come down party. So we're here. Uh, so um, were you going to do some other kind of interview thing before the next? What, what kind of song and dance are we supposed to do we now? Really, I don't. So we didn't really I say. Well, what's this part of it? What is this note? <laughs> oh, this. We never even talked about what that is. Performing from Life Sun Studio. Oh. Wait a second. Do we have? Yes, we do. We have a we have a live performance coming in from Sun Studios, don't we? Yeah. A brand new band from Memphis. I think we. I think we've got Asp, a brand new Asp. <laughs> Memphis's own Asp. 
live from Sun Studios. I think we're, we're, we're funneling straight out there to see them. And then we are going to have them here in studio for a conversation after you get to see some hot sun jams oh, okay. from ASP. ASP, everybody. And no... There is ASP. There's ASP to see. Can we see some ASP, please? And no part of this that I understand that until just now. So I'm learning in real time with the audience. And I didn't understand any of this note here, and, and, and we just never got around to discussing it. So Billups is the greatest. <laughs> well, that's that's debatable because I really I could have faked it. I could have pretended I knew what was going on. And you would have. I don't know. Maybe. And now, so we're gonna, uh, So the next video block includes this. So that's what you're going to be saying. All right, good. Asp.
Here we are. Here we are. It's funny because it seemed like they were just at uh, Sun Studio. But here is three-fifths yeah, of ASP. We just left Sun. <laughs> we changed clothes and got here just now. Small How town. did it happen? Small Magic town. of television, yeah. everybody. Yep. It's like the Star Trek uh, portal. Beat you me up. You, you, you think this is low-budget TV. Not at all. <laughs> but that's not right. I can't uh, believe how fast yeah. you got us over here. Yes, we have a time <laughs> machine. We have this teleporter right here. Teleporting machine. Um, thanks for joining us here on Goner TV. That was a fantastic performance in the hallowed grounds of, uh, of Sun, Sun Studio. Still alive. Yeah. Still a functioning studio. How about that? Papa Sam smiles upon ye. <laughs> like we were talking about, like the great people have played there like you too. <laughs> like the Goo Goo Dolls. That's, that's what you think of. Play it on their drums. On studio. I mean, it's insane, right? Angel of Harlem. Yeah. <laughs> seriously, that's. Uh, um, but uh, but no, really, like you know, j joking aside, uh, there is a, something kind of amazing about going and playing in such a historical Memphis place, right? Like the, the I mean, t talk about that a little bit. It's something like I. I take for granted sometimes until i talk to my friends like in new orleans they're like what the hell were you doing at sun studio like i was like oh yeah we were recording there last night and but it is it's it's the room is fantastic it's there's a reason it sounds so good the acoustics the um the plates they have in there it's it, it's simple it's perfect for rock and roll and it really works with like tight rock and roll music and it's yeah. We have access. We have a key to it. It's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, like Seven p.m. when they're done with the tours, it, it like I said, it's a functioning recording studio and it sounds good. Yeah, yeah still I mean, got tape going over there. It you know what it made me think of is that you know like maybe three or four years ago, Alec Bathgate from Toy Love and Tall Dwarfs came in from New Zealand and he had booked some time to uh, to be at Sun. It was the 50th anniversary of something. Maybe, maybe Elvis's 
Elvis do a mystery train or something like that. But he I, he he was like it worked in his like brain to say over in in Dunedin or uh, you know in on the other side of the world in New Zealand for him to say, I wonder if I can go in. I gotta get in there. At, I gotta get in studio. there. And he called and was able to go and do it. And uh, you know the idea that somebody somebody. That there are so many magical moments from music have been created in the space and is so easily identified with Memphis to me is kind of interesting and I love seeing new stuff getting made yeah. in that same space that has kind of you know is why we're on the map it created history right or you know yeah. part of it it is yeah. still a working studio yeah shout out to our friends Crockett and Lydia up there mixing and engineering and uh, now we got Zoe and Dane. Yep. Yeah, yep. It sounded great. It, great it sounded game? awesome. It was uh, that was really cool. Thank you. That was really cool. I I like the uh, idea of you know time travel. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you pulled it off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thanks, I'm, thanks I'm really for impressed. That up. <laughs> you got a Nobel Prize coming next year, I'm sure, and uh, just really pr- uh, proud of you and happy to know you for inventing time travel. Well, thank you, buddy. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. It's um, really impressive. I look too thirsty for love. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my all-time favorites. There he is, right there. There he is. Hugh. If there um, was a time machine, he would probably, probably record it and son. <laughs> you know? it's probably he came up with the concept of time travel, but you executed it. Indeed. Yes. It all comes back to Quintron. Yeah. It always does. Um, so uh, let's talk about the new band. Uh, how did this all, I mean, come about? Like, how, does, how did the re- Focus. I mean, uh, come about. What, 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 how did this? It, how did it, it work out? It goes with the, the shutdown, and we were kind of sneaking into the studio when it wasn't maybe that cool to be with people. But <laughs> we were, we had our, our bubble, if you will, and, and there were just songs that we and not were, not sun, not sun. We'll say this it was our was, personal little mm, studio. Right, right. Uh, slip away. Yeah, and it's just like uh, create songs that were reflective of the times and. Um, kind of like a, a chanting folky kind of getting away from rock and roll a little bit and um, yeah, I, I using the studio i like yeah. that really using yeah. the studio using yeah this layers. started back in like august of last year so everything was really shut down it's still almost, a lot of mystery of what to do socially so we just like, meet up and finish each other's ideas it's almost but, like the studio was another instrument yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, and Couldn't that's why we brought Marcella and Dustin into the mix because, like, how do we execute this stuff live? Like, you know, because Jesse and I sing all these layers and these bounce down tracks, yeah. and we needed some power. Oh, and there vocals. she is! Oh, wow! Uh, wait, wait a, a second! second. Oh, live TV! Oh my God! Live wait. television! All right, the, the extra two fifths of ass. Yeah. Time. She was just we time traveled her in. in. Uh, for you she viewers, uh, Zach, the Quintron time travel machine is working again. <laughs> Look, yeah. Sorry, oh, Marcella. Man, I tried. Marcella. Marcella Simeon, she's a hardcore Dustin. gigger. What's up, Dustin? That's Come your on camera in. camera right there. Hey. Hello. Talk. This is Marcella Simeon. We you got to keep coming. We're squeezing. We're squeezing. coming. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've, we've, been, we've been talking about how we've time traveled everybody in from we, the uh, hey, the two songs that you just saw from Sun and and you were a little bit slow. I, I we didn't quite have it calibrated perfectly, but thank you for making it here for the back half of we the interview. Are, we are the arts and science peoples, by the way, which is that's oh, basically is that, is what, that, ASP that's what ASP stands for. ASP if stands you, for if peoples. If you ask, We'll tell you. <laughs> Arts and science peoples. peoples. Yeah. The S is very important. You got to okay. say peoples. Okay. Well, I like that. that and, and asps yeah. as well. <laughs> um, that's great. That's great. Um, and uh, well, and I, I liked all. Uh, I, so we've, we've just been talking about um, how it kind of came about and, you know, that this, you know, happened during, you know, this crazy last year that we've had and. Uh, and how much the uh, the room and studio meant to uh, the sounds, uh, but uh, it's it's been a it's it's a cool project, it's a fun thing to see, and looking yeah. forward to uh, you know seeing seeing more. This is just this was just the first show, I think, right? Or or this was the debut, the, yeah, the debut. Yeah. We brought the, we brought these lovely souls in on it. That we were very honored that they were wanted to be a part of it. How was how was the zoo? It was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Marcella just played at the Memphis Zoo. I was hanging out with 
hippos. Yeah, for all you viewers out there. Somehow in between the two music. songs that she she performed at Sun <laughs> Studio <laughs> about 10 minutes ago, <laughs> live on camera, she played at the zoo and then made it here. That was the two-minute break. Gonna Quintron time prizes. Travel. You're going to no, win remember, prizes for this. Portal, more of a invention. portal. Which Superman was it when uh, I think Lois Lane died and, and he was so angered? Don't and tell the secrets! <laughs> <laughs> He's Don't the tell whole, the secrets. The whole earth backwards. That's the only thing you have to do. Uh, spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me, and my, me and my big mouth. <laughs> All right. Well, now that the time machine is ruined, <laughs> we're going to go back into something else. I don't, I don't know. Out. The show is over. The show is screwed. <laughs> oh, no. We're done. Millions now. We're done. <laughs> we're done for. Elon Musk just brought, bought Quintron. Let's watch some more ASP. Let's watch some more ASP, everybody.
wish I suppose Tired of change in the morning Vibrations all too real There's a pain in the morning That's a long shot I can't deal I just can't myself Can't rid myself And it's all deranged that I'm dark to shame There's a pain in the morning Vibrations all too real Simeon from the Louisiana Simeons on vocals, harmonium, and overall vibe. Oh, and on drums! Whoa! We got this rhythmic naked neon man from Oklahoma, Dustin Crops. Memphis's favorite native son. I just can't say anything more about Jesse James Davis. Jesse James Davis. And we have a special guest for this particular song on the piano. The man behind the scenes, by the control of the Sun Studio, Crockett Hall. Our Sam Phillips tonight. I'm Frank McCallan and I have a good night. Can we go? I just can't. Myself can't breathe. Myself and it's all the range that I'm done. To change, I just can't. Myself can't breathe. Myself and it's all the range that I'm done. The strings I just kill Myself can't rip Myself in the top The range that I'm dark The strings I just kill Myself can't rip Myself in the 
babies out of ten, but fuck it. <laughs> All right, that was great. That was uh, live footage uh, being played live in Memphis, Tennessee uh, from Sun Studios. That was terrific. I enjoyed it. What about you? I also enjoyed it. That's good. I liked Asp. And we got to see Zach's interview with Asp while I sat here awkwardly. Was I, was I in the shot during that whole thing? I, f I felt like an idiot during that whole thing. I was just like, I'm no Ed Lover, you know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> I need to practice the the what to do during an interview, and I mean, I kept I kept thinking maybe I was just like, would well, you just move the camera? A bit. I don't think two people interview unless you're Dr. Dre and Ed Lover. Two people interviewing a band just isn't gonna work. I thought you did great. The the only thing that was more awkward than that is in Decline of Western Civilization, where uh, um, uh, Lorna Doom just is holding up the Germs album the whole time in the background. <laughs> I always wanted to parody that, but I never knew if anybody would get the joke. But if you ever watch that movie again, think to yourself, why is she holding that album up with you? Just like this the whole time. I'm going to watch some Ed Lover, and, and next time that happens, I'm just going to be like, absolutely. <laughs> I agree wholeheartedly with that statement. You, you, got, one, you got one of those in. <laughs> Yeah, what, what, I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember how. I can't remember how Ed Lover sounds really. I can't. They were great though. Yeah, they were they? great. They were great. Absolutely, those were the days. I don't think Ed Lover's with us anymore. I think he passed. I don't recall for You're sure. Probably, probably right. Yeah. I don't. Know. No, I'm not. I mean, I'm not kidding. I think he did pass away. But either way. R.I.P. Ed Lover. Uh, I didn't mean to bring everybody down with that. I'm sad. <laughs> I'm sad now. <laughs> it's like, man, that, yeah, I was feeling so good about Ed Lover, and then feeling really we bad about that. hit that awkward dip. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll work on we'll work on the dual interview mm. for next time. Sure. So we're to now we're talking record uh, record store day. Oh, because well, gonna, yeah, we're gonna have a record store day here in the store on the uh, Saturday morning. That's Not, exciting. Which one is it? Which Saturday it's, is it? It's next Saturday. Not this. No. Yeah. A week from tomorrow. A week from tomorrow. So that's the 25th or the 26th or something. 25th, I believe. 25th. And, uh, well, not the 25th. I can't. That's too far away. I think it's... Uh, um, Whatever it is. Next, it's next Saturday. It's a week from tomorrow. You people know. Yeah. Come on. If, if, you, if, if you know, you know. So do you have any uh, releases that you're excited about for Record Store Day? This is a completely <laughs> this is a completely unrehearsed question that I've come up with. It's something we did not think about before this moment. Record store day is an interesting time here at Ghana Records. Uh we like to uh celebrate the fact that, you know, people like to come to our store and we're still around and uh it is supposed to be an independent uh record thing. At the same time, you know, it's a bit of a clusterfuck. Uh but uh, you know, in general, it's great. It's it's we we appreciate uh, the big uh, folks trying to uh, cater to these little stores like us and uh, independent record stores, and the idea of a celebration of that is uh, we we like and we do the best we can with it. We have a shitload of records in the back. I mean, uh, a, a shitload, I would say. Um, that they, they're just there's there's tons of them. We really and, don't. I can't I can't tell you I can't tell you how many records we've got uh, there. back there in the back and and uh, there's too there's too many to 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 list but uh, there there really is a a ton and uh, we'll have them all out there for you on Saturday uh, we're opening at nine we'll have I think we're gonna set up DJs have people playing records people probably playing have records. some probably have some cold beers yes. uh, or other refreshments uh, depending Absolutely. on whatever you like. <laughs> Just and, agreeing now. Uh, yeah, sure. It's all going to happen. But you know, the main thing is just that there's you know a shitload of records here. Have you read the Have you read the record store day list? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The spreadsheet. Yeah, I went there's through some, that whole yeah, same yeah. spreadsheet. Yeah, some, some, did all my checks and marks, and Eric then put in our big 
gigantic order, order but yeah. you know i can't I, oh you know the one thing that i am excited about is the the uh jackpot did the wipers reissue oh that's good to talk about of, yeah um uh uh youth america so the be second double. wipers lp is got got a big double lp reissue and i know we've got copies of that record coming and uh or already back there and uh we'll have that out there and uh, i don't know anything else really so you know I'm, but uh, you know uh well we should mention that the wipers is going to have uh demos and stuff on it too they, oh, yeah yeah because I, I don't, haven't they done the, the same Wipers record every year every year for Record Store Day? I feel like they did. They they, they did the first the one first last, last year, year, and we got sort of shorted on that. We didn't have very many of those, so we massively increased our, our order on that, hoping that we were going to get more, and hopefully that happened. But, you know, we'll uh, There's, we'll see. that. Yes, the demos of that, all that Wipers demo stuff is awesome from that era. I, I, rem, I played out my tapes of all of that early wipers demo stuff in fact i remember a ba- one of my favorite tape trades was with michael bateman down in new orleans and he sent me we sent our 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 projected uh fake killed by death tapes to each other and on his one of my favorite songs was some weird wipers demo that he had uh and now, of course, I can't remember what the fucking song was. But that's still that's a good story. Though. Yeah, well, it was up until the fact I couldn't remember the fucking song. I like, well, I, I, like, I like things about tapes. People, you know, I've he called it killed by. I have a love curve, you, Bateman. I have a curve, love you, Bateman. I have a curveball. I have a, a kind of an uncool. Maybe this might seem uncool, but I'm I'm kind of excited to hear uh, the selector live in Coventry '79. And, and anybody about that has an attitude about second wave ska. Uh, really has not looked at the selector videos that you can find on YouTube. They spend quite a lot of time. I don't know what's happening to him, but Zach really hates ska. But uh, if you ever watch the, those YouTube videos, they spend the entire show, you know, three feet off the ground. So I, I may I may enjoy hearing the selector in seventy in seventy nine. Probably won't change my life, but. I, that was not what I was expecting, but that's yeah, that's yeah, great. So, uh, I think it's it's great to that's the beauty of a record store. Well, I'm not I'm not you know I'm just not going to lie about things that I like. So. I'm watching out for elbows right now. <laughs> watching out for some bows, some knees. Uh, yeah, well, we, I, and I know that we've got some uh, big Grateful Dead or Jerry Garcia box sets that are going to be here that people are going to be super pumped we about. We always right? do. I mean, there's a Right, there's, right. There's one every year. I mean, of course we will. They always they they have so many of those shows, and they just need a box to put them in. Well, what I'm saying is, you know, we've got well, we're gonna have a ton of records, and uh, you guys should just call up here and uh, ask Phillips uh, if we have the one that you're looking for. <laughs> Please do not call me at the store and and ask me questions, because. Uh, all right. Uh, in fact, we're installing a no questions Sunday policy here at Garner. You're not allowed to ask any questions on Sundays at all. That, that's uh, just the new rule. If I can interrupt. <laughs> 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 the chat has come through and said that Ed Lover is very much alive. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm glad to hear that. I'm sorry. I, I really didn't. I just thought I had heard that he had passed. I God damn, know. that dip did not need to happen. We were on yeah. such a high. Yeah. Well, sorry. We'll work on that. But just to bring you down, they are doing more Cure and Black Sabbath records for Record Store Day. So. Well, yeah. I, I'm glad. I, I don't know why. I, th- I really thought I had heard that, but I'm glad it's not true. It, I just got in my head that Ed Lover was. Uh, oh, anyway, let's leave it there. Sorry, Ed, if you're watching. <laughs> I'm sure Ed Lover. <laughs> I'm sure Ed Lover is watching right now. Right? He's just like, man, that damn that. Fuck yeah, he is. Um. Yeah. So anyway, right. uh, we got some stuff to talk about the the lamp lamp lighter roof. That's becoming a thing now here. Man, it's been great. I, I, I've I've gone out and checked out some shows on the lamp lighter roof. It's since, fun to watch. Since I've moved to Memphis, I learned that Memphis has things. <laughs> <laughs> Memphis does things. They really do. I mean, just one thing happens and then another thing. It's always something going it's weird. on. And now people are playing on the roof of a of a bar. The the setup is is pretty difficult too. If anybody, I mean, the little insider baseball here, but the the, the load in 
is probably the most difficult load in in Memphis. Almost everybody here has actually played this. Wow. You're, you're going out of a window and up a ladder to get onto the roof. It is, and, and you're pushing amps and stuff like that up there. So these people are doing some serious, serious work to make, to make this magic happen. Yeah. All right. So uh, why don't we uh, why don't yeah. we watch some some of the magic that's been happening up at the up the at the at the lamp? Yeah, we Do have you think so? we have footage of said shows from the roof, and uh, we're going to show them on this next video block. So let's move to that right now. How about it? Here we go.
All right. That was a taste of what's been going on on the roof of the lamplighter. And uh, it's been a fun time putting... Well, I'm sure it's been... Actually, well, I, don't, I don't know what I was about to say. I have nothing to do with it. Um, but I'm glad... I'm sure they're having fun doing that. So uh, uh, tomorrow night, right? It's tomorrow night. They're doing another one of these shows. Model Zero, Data Drums, and more will be on the roof of the lamplighter. There's no way. Is it on the roof? Oh, I'm sorry. My fault. It's in. <laughs> it's indoors, and it's Chuck's birthday. All right. So happy birthday to Chuck. Um, uh, I totally lost my train of thought there. Lamplighter. Oh yeah. So you, if you stand outside the lamplighter, you're not going to see the show. It's actually <laughs> indoors. If you stand there drinking at that park, you're going to miss quite a bit of what's going on. So tomorrow night, you can go inside the lamplighter. It's Model Zero, Data Drums, more bands. How many more bands? You don't know a few? One more. It's a new band with members of... Uh, Sorry. It, it's right. a, there's, a, there's also a new band called Off Peak Arson featuring members of Ten High and The Worms. <laughs> I was trying to mouth along with that so it looked like I was saying it. I don't know how that came along. I'll have to look at that later. Um... <laughs> Oh, we're going to do the game show next week again. I'm looking forward to that. Um, did they really? The show where you try to guess whether I'm full of shit or not. Uh, and how pe- it says here how people can be contestants, question mark. All right. Well, you let us know. Um, <laughs> if you want to be a contestant, what? Say write in or something? Is that what we're doing? We need contestants. That's the headline. So if you if you want to be a contestant to the show, write in to Goner sh- Records. Don't call yourself up. Not, no, Why don't, don't you get, send? You do can, not call me. Let me you can let me send, reiterate. Please do not call me up. What you can do <laughs> is you can send a direct message to Goner <laughs> Goner TV on Instagram. It's the Instagram. The Instagram is at Goner TV. Cool. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, do it that way, and uh, maybe we'll maybe you'll be a contestant. You can win bid prizes on. Did they really? Well, this has been a fun show. Um, we got one more video coming up, but then the credits will say good night. It's non-violence, and that's spelled N-A-A-N. That's like the bread, right? Yes. A non-violence on the and they and there is actually a Mediterranean restaurant next to that park too, isn't there? Yes. There is good. Okay, so. <laughs> That's probably why that is. Um, we'll, see you, we'll see you next time. Two weeks from tonight, Goner TV. Did they really? Probably lots of other rock and roll shows. And, uh, yeah, go out to the Lamplighter tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, that's it. All right. Have a good two weeks. Good night. Thanks. <laughs>